Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The KF-21 and the Turkish TFX represent two prominent contenders in the realm of advanced fighter aircraft development. Both aircraft are envisioned to play significant roles in their respective nations' air forces, offering cutting-edge capabilities and technologies tailored to modern combat environments. In this video, we'll delve into a detailed comparison between two cutting-edge fighter aircraft, showcasing a formidable presence in the skies and a key player in the evolving landscape of global military aviation. The KF-21 is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the Korea Aerospace Industries. In 2021, the inaugural prototype of the KF-21 was successfully finalized and revealed to the public. Subsequently, on 19 July 2022, the aircraft underwent its maiden test flight, marking a crucial milestone in its development. The commencement of manufacturing is slated for the year 2026. The Khan, also referred to as TFX, represents a stealthy twin-engine all-weather air superiority fighter under development by Turkish Aerospace Industries. Following successful taxi and ground tests conducted on March 16, 2023, the prototype was ceremoniously unveiled just two days later. On February 21, 2024, the inaugural flight of Khan took place. Turkish Aerospace released a video showcasing Khan fighter jet ascending into the sky and subsequently landing back at the airfield command located in Ankara. The KF-21 and the Turkish TFX, both are fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft, showcase remarkable advancements in aerospace technology. Let's compare these two formidable fighters. Beginning with their dimensions, the KF-21 boasts a length of 16.9 meters whereas the Turkish TFX is slightly larger, with a length of 21 meters. The KF-21 has a wingspan of 11.2 meters and a height of 4.7 meters. On the other hand, the Turkish TFX measures slightly larger wingspan of 14 meters and a height of 6 meters. In terms of payload and operational flexibility, the KF-21 offers a maximum takeoff weight of 25,600 kg, 56,400 pounds. Conversely, the TFX boasts a slightly higher maximum takeoff weight of 27,215 kg, 60,000 pounds, potentially allowing for increased armament and fuel carriage. This could translate to extended mission durations or enhanced combat capabilities depending on operational requirements. The KF-21 is equipped with two General Electric F414GE 400K turbofans, capable of generating 57.8 kN of thrust. In comparison, the Turkish TFX utilizes two General Electric F110GE 129 turbofans, producing 76.31 kN of thrust, potentially providing slightly higher performance capabilities. The KF-21 boasts an impressive service ceiling of 64,961 feet 19,800 meters, surpassing the Turkish TFX service ceiling of 55,000 feet 17,000 meters. This makes the KF-21 capable of operating at higher altitudes, potentially offering advantages in various mission scenarios.
Regarding performance, both aircraft demonstrate impressive capabilities. The KF-21 achieves a maximum speed of Mach 1.81. While the TFX closely matches, with a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. KF-21 is equipped with state-of-the-art features, such as an ESA radar, advanced avionics, and precision weaponry. Boasting 10 hardpoints for weapons deployment, high maneuverability, enhanced survivability, and a configuration with single tandem aircraft seats. The KF-21 ensures high operational efficiency in diverse mission scenarios. Khan anticipated to integrate cutting-edge technologies, including a next-generation active electronically scanned array ESA, radar system, sophisticated communications systems, and superior electronic warfare capabilities. The Khan heralds a new era in Turkish military aviation. Advanced stealth features such as radar-absorbing materials and state-of-the-art coatings contribute to its reduced radar cross-section, enhancing its survivability in contested environments. According to the report, UAE's Economic Council had sent a letter to South Korea's Office of National Security, explaining Abu Dhabi's desire for direct cooperation on the development of the KF-21. Surprisingly, the letter allegedly requested that Abu Dhabi replace Indonesia's investment in the program. Turkish Aerospace Industries, the lead contractor for the Khan fifth-generation fighter jet. Development program plans to supply 20 Khan Block 10 fighter jets to the Turkish Air Force by 2028 after taxi trials conclude in March. With a night towards the future, the second prototype, which will cover the full flight envelope and serve as a closer approximation to the intended production aircraft, is slated for takeoff in 2025. The anticipated third aircraft, flight in 2026 and the delivery of follow-on blocks by 2034, are among the upcoming benchmarks. Both fighters are currently undergoing testing to determine their capacities, strengths, and suitability for the battleground. This testing will help distinguish the generation of each fighter. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section.